first of all, ladies, thanks for spending a little extra time with us, and I want to talk more about the event. But first of all, I have to say, you know I follow you on Twitter, so yeah. I have all of your... Uh, I have my you Twitter. You everywhere, I, and I think that... It, tell us what your... Twitter who doesn't know what your Twitter is, because it's fascinating where you are and what you're doing. I always love getting your updates. I, have, I wear many hats, yeah. um, and so <laughs> it, I find myself in one situation, and then... Like a day later, I'm in a completely different situation. And so I'm moving now, and then I'm planning an event, and then, you know, I go places with the kids. So, you know, one minute I'm at the G-Force premiere with the kids, and the next minute I'm, you know, having a, a cocktail in Encino by myself, listening to people next to me, you know, bash Obama <laughs> and trying to keep my lips closed. So I, know, I, that was I night. find Twitter <laughs> is really great for me to vent, but my publicist will tell you that I'm supposed to vent less. And I got to be a little careful about what I say because I can get in trouble. Right. But I, I find it to be very, very therapeutic. You, because I do, you have, I think, some like uh, apologies, not apologies, yeah. but like, oops, I didn't mean to offend. Yeah, I started commenting about the McNair situation way too soon. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I was way too emotional. He was someone that uh, my husband and I really like admired so much, and so I, I, I spoke like sort of as a wife and. You know, that's the thing about Twitter. Those little sound bites don't make very good statements on their own, so you got to be really careful. But it's been a nice way for you to keep in contact with yeah. people and your fans and yeah. your friends. And it is. You just have to, you know, remember that you're not really having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. <laughs> you're having a one on 8,000 or 10,000 or however many you have. Snippets here and there. Mm -hmm. Here, do you do this at all? Are you on Twitter? Holly <laughs> has been talking to me about it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm going to be Terry at the Twitter. I think I'm going to open an account as Terry Ellis because En Vogue has so many fans, and I just saw them in New Orleans, and they were awesome. For, yeah, the, what, the, Essence. Was Essence. Oh, they yeah, killed I mean, it. You were all over the place for Essence. I, I was remember. Twittering my butt off, and one of the moments that I Twittered the most was when En Vogue was on stage. Wow. We had a great time. We went to Holly's VIP booth, and it was great. I had my own VIP booth. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <so>. She's VIP. <laughs> so now, are you guys are performing for your event, right? Yes, we are. We're so excited. Holly's been trying to get us for years, and finally we got a date. So we're so excited because it's for a good cause. Yeah, and it's their 20th anniversary. You know, when, when I met Terry. How's that possible? I know. Because <laughs> you only look 20. I know. I'm, I'm 20 years old. <laughs> like, that doesn't calculate in my mind either. Yeah, the her first hit record is six months old. <laughs> That's right. Um, we we, uh, yeah, like Terry said, I've been trying to get them forever, but they're really super, like, hot because they're, it's 20 years, their songs just stand the test of time, and their show is sick. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, um, you know, she ain't no spring chicken. <laughs> and they're up there, like, doing, doing it for real on stage. I don't know she how they do it. Afterwards and said, I'm out of breath. Just because watching her. A, there's a part in our show where we pay tribute to the real divas who inspired us. Uh -huh. And um, it's really high energy, really high energy. And we're worn out by the time we're done. Yeah. It's insane. So you guys will be there in the Marquee, so that's one of my favorite. I, I think I have two dresses that I, or one dress that I bought majorly, 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 majorly on sale. Well, you know, Lisa, I've, I'm always, you know, trying to get hot designers. Uh, and Marquesa, like in Vogue, has been on my list for years. And so they're doing it. I'm really excited. Whimsical, beautiful. We have great people coming. Jessica Alba is going to come and some, some, you know, uh, Gabrielle Union and all the little fabulous actresses are going to come and um, they're just a great line and whimsical beautiful flowy uh, really excited about that yeah. you'll see us in some of the gowns too in the red carpet yeah yeah, oh. yeah they're dressing That's in vogue line. so that should be really fabulous oh, yeah. So what else are you guys working on? What else well, the other thing I want to mention about the event is that we're honoring Michael J. Fox, and he's another one. This is like the trifecta for me. These are the, the act, the fashion designer, and the honoree that I've wanted to get for many years. And Mike, of course, is such an inspiration for people with Parkinson's, which my dad had, as you know. Um, and then we're also honoring someone for the Holly Ride for Kids part of Holly Ride Foundation, which is for autism, a young lady named Kelly Austin, who's at InStyle Magazine, amazing super mom of a child with autism, and so we're going to give her some love as well. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, it's going to be really, really great, because, you know, as an entertainer, we always like to inspire. So that night, we're hoping to inspire people through our music to give. Is there, for a great cause. Is there a chance to buy tickets, or tickets are sold? Or They're pretty people? much sold, but people can always support Hollyrod through the website, hollyrod.org. 
um, and um, we're going to be doing a lot more public events as we uh, move forward into the next quarter. So we'll, I'll be I'll be back to let you know. Okay. Books? What else? I mean, you're always writing a book or something. Yeah. What else do you have? We've got a couple books coming out. Uh, the Peak family does. My daughter and I wrote a book called My Brother Charlie. It's going to be out uh, with Scholastic in uh, 2010, April 2010, which sounds far, but it's like tomorrow, really. Um, and we're doing it on autism. It's her life with her twin brother. It's really beautiful. And then my husband is writing a book called Not My Boy, which is a journey of a father with, uh, in the, dealing with autism. So in April, we'll be back out and talking about uh, something that is diagnosed every 20 minutes. There's a kid diagnosed with autism. It's really out of control. I have about a minute left. Anything else that you're working on, Terry? We, as Holly mentioned before, it's our 20th anniversary, so we're celebrating that. We have a new record in the making, a uh, possible reality show. Ooh. And we're on a tour right now. Yeah. All the and way until the end of the year. So people can follow you and get in touch with you how? With, through the website? Through then? our website. Which is? Which is InVogueWorld.com. Okay. And I'm the new fifth member of InVogue. <laughs> I, I don't know if you knew that. Holly, well, <laughs> should I? I shouldn't. I shouldn't uh, tell the surprise that night, right? Yeah, okay, I mean, wait, wait, there's, wait. Definitely gonna be on stage. there's a rumor so that I might get a solo part. <laughs> I don't know, but what about, I'm the wannabe fifth member. What about acting? Is there time for you to act? Still? You know what? I have done three pilots or four pilots over the last five years. I've been really trying to get back on TV, but, you know, a lot of it's out of my control. But George it's not Queenie, for lack of trying. George Clooney did like 12, right? Yes, he or did. 18 or 20 before yeah. he hit ER. I mean, I, you know, had this real great streak in the 80s and 90s and then in the 2000s. And then, um, and then you know, it's hard. It's, it's very, the landscape the and the real estate is, is small now. So yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Always the most in to follow you. It's um, oh Holly R. Pete at Holly R. Pete. Yeah. Okay. There you yeah. go. Okay, I'll let you guys go. Thank so, you. Thank you. Great so seeing much. you. Yeah, you too.